Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use Harbor, a sleeping enhancement plugin. This simple plugin allows you to customize the different features to do with sleeping in the game. You can bypass nights if you have a permission, have a certain percentage of players needed to skip the night, reset sleep statistics, and more. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section, go over to the spigot tab and type in Harbor, like so. Install the version that is compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you can download it from the plugin page and upload it into your plugins folder manually. When I first joined the game, by default, the percentage of people needed to skip the night is 50%. There are two players on the server right now, so if I sleep with only one of my accounts, the night will skip. And as you can see, it works. The night skips, and also you get a few customizable chat messages that are shown here. It's a pretty simple but powerful plugin. Let's go over the configs and see what we can change. Locate it in the plugins folder right here. And here at the top, you have some changeable values, such as how often checks are performed, then the percentage of players needed to skip the night, and a time skip interval that is added when the night gets accelerated. Lower, you can toggle whether you actually want to skip the night. Next, you can toggle to clear the weather by skipping the night. You can essentially disable phantoms by resetting sleeping statistics. If you want to have a person who can bypass sleeping in the bed, give him the harbor.bypass permission. This will basically make the player not needing to be in bed to skip the night. Then there's the ignore toggle which ignores players in the spectator and creative modes. The AFK feature is whether the plugin will detect any AFK players. And lastly, the notifier will tell you if there's an update to the plugin. Below, you can change the messages, and after that, you can blacklist certain worlds where the plugin will be disabled in. And apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.